Welcome back to Good Morning Lala Land. If you are ready to be made over for love, you want to know Kim Seltzer. She is the founder of Seltzer Style. Thank you for being with us Thank today. Thank you for coming. Or me for coming. <laughs> <laughs> we we oh, changed your name so you could be here today. I'm sorry. When you get totally. the red, yeah. the color of your shirt Thank is Thank you. I know. Thank you. Ooh, Pops the like love. No well, that. it's what we were talking about as women. Like, this helps us give us confidence when we have the hair and the makeup and the outfit. And this is exactly what I teach, right? Like, I work from the outside in versus the inside out. Being a therapist, I also go inward. But I believe sometimes we need to viscerally feel and see something different in order to create change for ourselves. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. right? Visual transformations can be wildly empowering. We've got to look at some of your recent makeovers. We'd love to share with you. If you could tell us a little bit yes, about these women stories. and really yeah. how you changed their life. Yes, so this is a woman, as you can see before, she had really low confidence and the way that she was wearing her clothes and her body language spoke that, right? Mm -hmm. And um, I work with a lot of people, of course, who are single, uh, trying to attract love in their life and I see I work with oh, them too. Yeah. I do not, not discriminate. Sense. Yes. <laughs> and when, as you can see, like when it comes to first impressions, it only takes 30 seconds and now with Tinder and Bumble, right? Like yeah. a lot quicker. And so what happens in the brain, and this is what research says, not just me, is that people are making judgments and assumptions based on two things, the attitude that you have and the clothes that you wear. And so it's amazing to see some of these transformations where people walk out of the dressing room feeling different. Wow. Oh, wow. Different. wow. This is a woman, by the way, she was putting on the before picture on her online profile and wondering why she wasn't getting clicked. And it wasn't about her not being beautiful. You know, she's, she's a gorgeous, a beautiful yeah, woman, yeah. gorgeous woman. Right? But but it was about marketing herself in a way so that a man could get to know that beautiful woman. And so I often talk to people about it's it's a lot about marketing. Yeah. But yourself. some women, let's be honest, she might feel more comfortable in her jeans, right. in her plaid shirt. Wearing mm -hmm. that dress doesn't feel natural to her. Right. But I and every time I put some clothes on, it takes a, a marination process, I yeah. call it. Okay. Right? It's when all about it, the hook, right? And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the hook, for sure. No, it's true. It's a great point, Jazz. So how do you yeah. stay authentic? And you know, transform your look maybe it's really authentic he might love right? those khaki pants he might be the man who wear he's like a dad in khakis so like I, cool dude on the street i love that because and i love like helping people get over that kind of you know thing that they have in their head is oh i can't wear that because when i put the clothes on and they walk out into the world people notice them and there's the symbiotic relationship that happens between the outer and the inner mm -hmm. that really has an impact in the way that they move through life so they have more confidence like when that those men put on the tighter pants i mean their first objection is like don't make me so like la you know, <laughs> you know one of the guys say, yeah. yeah right or but when they put on something that has a better fit they look taller leaner more masculine and so i teach people about their body types and what clothes fit their body type and what clothes to stay away from so i'm a little mm -hmm. bit scientific in the way i approach clothes it's not just throwing on cookie cutter looks on people. But a lot of people might say, how are you the expert? You don't know what that feels like. What would you say to them? Oh my God, because I have my story. You want to go into my story? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, because I, if you knew me about 20 years ago, I, I wasn't this, you know, I was this kind of frumpy mom from Chicago. I practiced as a therapist for a very long time. And then I, we all pick up as a family. I had kids, the dog, the picket fence. I left that all behind, moved to La La Land here. Mm -hmm. I always joke, did what all the other people here do, get a divorce. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> or other but issues going on, right? You, you know, they happened. do say, no relationships withstands the move to Los Angeles. Right? No. I've never heard so that. Oh, true. yeah. Oh, yeah. No. It happened to me. It did. See, it we got to talk later. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. And so, you know, like when there's that defining moment in your life, that changes. My life as I knew it completely changed. Mm -hmm. And so I was going down this really dark path and my clothes reflected it. I had the big oversized black clothes. I had the nursing bras and I wasn't even like nursing any longer, <laughs> but I still had them on. Oh it showed you like my mindset. Yeah. 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 And, and I look in the mirror one day and I'm like, oh my God, who, who am I? Like, mm -hmm. who have I become? And it was just that thing that clicked. And let me tell you, I did a lot of inside work but I could not get out of my own way. And so what does a girl do when nothing fits and hates the way she looks? 
I went shopping. Mm -hmm. And this was my defining moment. So I'm going shopping. I'm pulling all the same clothes again. Mm. Black clothes, probably three sizes too big. And this woman, this personal shopper, she looks at me and she says, honey, I want you to try on this. And she holds up this red dress that was, I thought, three sizes too small. I said, that's really sweet of you, but that's not my size and that's not my color. And she said, honey, that is your size. That is your color. Try it on. And it was like, bam, somebody hit me over the head with a reality. red dress. Yeah, yeah the red dress. So it, I called wow. my red dress right. moment. And so yeah. I slipped it on. I twirled around like Cinderella. I look in the mirror and I couldn't believe what I saw. She was right. But I, I just hadn't seen me in so long that I, I didn't believe it. And so I bought the costume that day, because to your point, I didn't believe it necessarily yet. Mm -hmm. But when I walked out into the world, things started happening to me. My confidence started growing. People started noticing me, and I felt more comfortable in my skin. And that inner and outer confidence just kind of grew. And so I'm here today to teach people what I went through, to know that you can get confidence. Mm -hmm. You can build connection and find love from the outside. I love it that mm. you that you you know were doing inner work as a therapist, and then you decide to go extra. It's usually the opposite. Totally, and it's so cool that because it's true, it all matters, and and that's such a great story. Thank you for sharing. Oh that yeah, fun story. yeah. Well, I always say like being a therapist and a dating coach and an image consultant, it gives me kind of that three prong approach in helping people. But really, where I get my passion is my own story, right? Like we're always our own best teachers. So for sure, that thing called life. Yes. Have a good teacher, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, tell people where they can find you and work with you. Yeah, the easiest is probably going to my website, seltzerstyle.com. I also have a podcast out. It's called The Charisma Quotient Love that. on iTunes. And yeah. You know, Charisma all Quotient? That. That's my question. Well, I have this like, I have these ingredients within the quotient, I call it, and it's raising your style IQ, your emotional IQ, and your social IQ. Oh, Beautiful. Like Ooh, Ooh, and that's, that's really so the magic potion to help people connect and find love. I love it's a it. beautiful model way of describing it. Thank yeah. you. Anyways. Thank you so much. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.